Greetings survival horror fans, EQ and Nostalgia here, and today I want to talk to you about something a little different. I want to talk to you about Resident Evil 1, and if you guys would be okay with a reboot of that in first person or over the shoulder. Now there's a couple of things that led me to this and why I want to talk about it. One is that we're getting a remake for Resident Evil 2, as I'm sure all of you are aware, and a lot of people in my comment section have been saying they want it to be over the shoulder or they want it to at least be both. Classic fixed camera with the uh, the tank controls and over the shoulder and I've argued with that so many times I've told people it just wouldn't work. It needs to stay classic. It's a remake It's not a reboot and then I started thinking would I be okay with that with the original game? Would I be okay with that with other games and In terms of the original game. I realized that I'm perfectly okay with this it doesn't matter to me. It wouldn't bother me. In fact, I would play it and I would probably love it if they made it over the shoulder or especially if they made it first person. I think I'm more interested in what Resident Evil 7 is doing. If they were to go back and do that with Resident Evil 1, because you can already see the hints of Resident Evil 1 on 7. So naturally, that's it's, it's just something that you think about. And I think it's funny because I'm sitting there thinking, why am I okay with it for the first Resident Evil, but I don't want to see it at all with the second one. And I think the reason why that is, is because, well, we got the remake on GameCube for Resident Evil 1, and then we got the HD remaster of the remake. So I can play that till my heart's content. I'm satisfied, guys. I've got a solid, classic-style Resident Evil 1 remake that I can play anytime I want. So now, I'm perfectly fine with them doing what they want with that, if they wanted to do something else. Now, if they perverted it and fucking just, you know, twisted it and turned it into something awful, no, obviously I'm not okay with that. I want to preserve the lore and history of the original Resident Evil, but if they just changed the view, the camera angle, into first person or over the shoulder, it would not bother me at all. In fact, I would find it quite interesting because it would be a different experience. The reason why I'm so protective of Resident Evil 2 Remake is because we haven't had anything. There, there hasn't been anything. Unless you want to talk about the re-releases like on PC and shit like that and, and all the different consoles that it's been on. But we never got a true remake. Nothing has redone it and, and made it look like the original remake was done. And that's why I am so protective of that, and I want to see that first. Once we get that, if they did over the shoulder later, or if they did first person after that, I would be perfectly okay with it. And uh, I think that's a reasonable way to feel. Some people might think that I'm out of my fucking mind, but that's the way that I look at it. I want that classic, what it was before before we go on to something else. I don't think that's too much to ask for. And I think that even the people who are begging for over the shoulder or some of the people who are who have gone back and forth with me would say that that's pretty fair. Now just to go back a little bit on what I was saying about the original Resident Evil and the ties that I'm seeing with Resident Evil 7, it just has that moody hallway atmosphere that I remember just in the demo alone. It just reminded me of walking through the mansion, not knowing what's around the corner, if there's going to be a zombie there or not, because you couldn't tell. You could only, you had to rely on your ears, right? As soon as you walk through a door in the original Resident Evil, you're listening for that shuffle or that, and then you know they're there. And then you want to aim your gun and try to see if maybe you can snap to them. You just, you don't want to walk forward. You're afraid. You don't have a lot of bullets. That's like, the original Resident Evil really embodied that so well, and many games that followed just did not, especially within the Resident Evil series, which is kind of funny if you think about it. So at this point, now I want to talk about first person versus over the shoulder versus fixed camera. When I went from fixed camera to third person, it was very jarring to me because it gives you more awareness, but at the same time, your character's neck and shoulder are in the way. I've complained about this for years. Many of my regulars are probably rolling their eyes right now because I've literally been saying this shit since like 2012 on the channel. I've been bitching about it in real life to my friends for years. And it just always annoyed me. It gives you that little bit more of situational awareness, but at the same time, when you try to aim, it just kind of gets in the way. I always said either zoom in or go back to what it was before. Or even go back to like something with, with a little bit more uh, zoomed out, a little bit more traditional third person. Like say maybe like SOCOM or something like that or Gears of War. But this shit was just, it's, it's always irritated me. Uh, yeah, first person, I'm going to definitely pick that over, over the shoulder all day long. And uh, I personally, for Resident Evil, re would rather have fixed camera angles, as many of you know. Going forward with pretty much every one of the games, I wouldn't mind if they had first-person games, just like I didn't mind before when they had Dead Aim and Survivor and all that shit. 
that stuff doesn't bother me. But over the shoulder guys, it's just something that never really seemed to vibe with me. It's funny because if I had to break down over the shoulder, and some of you will vibe with this, some of you will absolutely not vibe with this. I'd say it's in between perfection. It's in between first person view to where you get that immersion. And it's also in between the, uh, the fixed camera that gives you that cinematic and more traditional survival horror feeling. I don't like being in between either one of those. Give me one or the other. But that's just my personal opinion. Now one of the things that's most exciting to me about doing this, and I do hope that they do it eventually, like within the next five years they remake Resident Evil in first person like they're doing with uh, 7. Take the RE engine and everything. Because that photogrammetry, and I've talked about this before, would be brilliant with things like tarantulas. It would be absolutely brilliant with like dogs. You could get the Cerberus thing down really well. You could get Neptune, remember the shark from the, uh, the second part of the game when you go to the guardhouse. That kind of shit. I mean, guys, it looks really good. Photogrammetry, photogrammetry looks great. So just imagine all the classic enemies that you love to see. Uh, a hunter would be probably a little bit more difficult. I don't know how they would scan a hunter, but I'm sure they could get creative and create something to make it look a little bit more uh, amphibian. They could, they could give it that real amphibious look with the scales and everything. Just imagine that shit, guys. Snakes, the snake uh, boss. So a lot of these things that are in the original Resident Evil, they really lend themselves well to photogrammetry. So to me, this is very exciting. I like remakes, I like reboots if they're done right. And uh, I know there's a lot of people out there who just wanna move forward. They want Resident Evil 8, 9, and all of that. And I understand that, I want those things too. But I'm not EQ at nostalgia for no reason. I like to revisit the past, I like to see the things that I remember from years ago, only reinvented and reinvigorated. So there you have it guys, kind of a strange discussion, but not really, I think it's very interesting and hopefully you found it interesting as well. Let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to rate it thumbs up. I thank you all for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.